Hi everyone, welcome to 40k on point, the channel that quantify warmer 40k. This channel describes the Astra Militarum choice for the Lords of War and it is using our quantified methodology. Uh, if you want to know more about the metrics that are used in this video, please follow the link in the description. There are a lot of choices when it comes to the Lords of War for the Astra Militarums. There are many big tanks that are available. So uh, we are covering those that are available from the Codex. Those that are uh, in uh, the Forge World uh, uh, different uh, supplement, well, they will be covered in a future video. The first unit that will be covered is the Bane Blade. So for 450 points, you are getting one Bane, Bane Blade armed with the auto cannon, the Bane Blade cannon, demolisher cannon, a twin heavy bolter, and the adamantium track. So for 450 points, you are getting 26 wound, toughness 8, save 3 plus, its mobility is 10 inch, and it has a strength 9 uh, and a weapon skill of 5 plus. Its ballistic skill is 4 plus. The unit has steel beam up, which allow to charge even if it fell back. Also, it can shoot if it has any unit within its engagement range. So for 450 points, you are getting a unit that is a bit more than worth its point. It has a normal fortitude. The normal score is 10. And it has a very good uh, anti-tank shooting capacity per point and okay uh, anti-personal shooting uh, per point. Its melee is not very good, but uh, that comes from a unit that has a limited number of attack, weak weapon skill, uh, and for 450 points. His uh, mobility is good, but uh, not as good as a knight. Overall, it uh, turns out to be a unit that is a bit more than worth its point. The next unit is the Bane Hammer. For 410 points, you are getting a unit armed with a Tremor Cannon, Twin Heavy Bolter, and its Adamantium Track. So for 410 points, you have 26 Wound Toughness 8, Save 3+. Plus. Again, like the Bane Blade, Movement 10, Ballistic Skill 4+. Plus. 9 attacks, weapon skill 5 plus, and a strength of 9. And because of a dimension track, it has minus 2 AP and damage 2. This unit has less uh, firepower than the Bane Blade. However, it has the ability to transport 25 infantry model, and 10 of them can be in the firing deck. Also, it has the steel beam at uh, capacity, like the Bane Blade. Overall, the Bane Hammer is a unit that is worth its point. Its fortitude score is a bit better than the Bane Blade, the Bane Blade because it costs less, therefore you cost less per point. Uh, its anti-tank shooting and anti-personal shooting are okay, but again, uh, less per point than the Bane Blade. However, uh, because it has the ability to transport infantry model and some of them has the ability to shoot. It has a very good mobility score that compensates and brings the unit to be worth their point. The next unit is the Bane Sword. The model is armed with the Quake Cannon, the Twin Heavy Bolter and the Adamantium Track. So for 410 points, you are getting 26 wound toughness, 8 save 3 plus. It has the same mobility and uh, melee capacity as uh, previous uh, heavy uh, tanks. And uh, the, it's a dedicated um, shooter. So its quake cannon is uh, quite potent. And it has the steel behemoth rule. So for 410 points, you are getting a unit that is a bit more than worth its point. Uh, it is a dedicated shooter like the Bane Blade. So it doesn't have any uh, special mobility for transport. However, because it costs less than a Bane Blade, it's in Bane Blade, its fortitude score is uh, lower. The average is 10 and it's reaching a score of 
39. Its anti-tank shooting per point is a bit less than uh, the Bane Blade. However, it's pretty good. It's close to a 4-star. The 4-star is a 3.50. It is okay at shooting anti-personnel. However, its melee capacity are not very good. Uh, therefore, it makes uh, overall a unit uh, that is a good shooter, that has okay resistance, good mobility, and it gives a unit that is a bit more worth than its point. For 420 points, you are getting a Doom Hammer armed, armed with a Magma Cannon, a Twin Heavy Bolter, and a Damantium Track. So for 420 points, you're getting 26 wound, toughness 8, save 3 plus, and lying the Bane Blade, uh, mobility, same mobility and same uh, uh, melee capacity. Uh, again, uh, well, this is a very good uh, shooter and that has some uh, transport capacity. It can transport 25 models and it uh, uh, 10 of them can fire in the uh, while being transport in the Doom Hammer. It turns out to be a very good unit that has the um, very good mobility because it's able to transport uh, units and it has a good fortitude score, a bit uh, uh, less defensive cost than average, the average is 10 and it still has a very good uh, anti-tank shooting close to a 4 star and okay anti-personal shooting capacity and like the other uh, heavy tank its uh, melee capacity are very reduced. So that makes a unit that is uh, worth more than its point. It's an interesting choice for Astra Militarum player. So for 490 points, you are getting a Hellhammer armed with uh, its uh, Hellhammer cannon, an auto cannon, a demolisher cannon, and a twin heavy bolter, and uh, its adamantium tracks. So uh, again, it's a dedicated shooter with a lot of uh, firepower. It has uh, the same defensive standard as the other uh, Lords of War for the Astra Militarum. So toughness 8, 26 wounds, save 3 plus, and the ability to move 10 inch steel beam up. So the same as the Bane Blade. This unit turns out to be 40 points more expensive than a Bane Blade, therefore per point. It's a bit, bit less interesting, however, it's still a unit that is worth its point. Uh, you are getting per point something that is very similar to a Bane Blade, uh, except a bit less anti-tank shooting capacity per point and a, a defensive cost that is a bit higher. So per point, you're better with a Bane, a Bane Blade. Now we move on with the Mighty Shadow Sword. So for 470 points, you are getting a very good anti-tank uh, unit. So a very uh, dedicated anti-tank vehicle. So for 470 points, again, the same defensive uh, stat line as other heavy vehicle. 26 wound, toughness 8, save 3 plus, 10 movement. Its Volcano Cannon is uh, a very, very strong weapon that is able to uh, do 2d6 of damage and the unit can reroll the failed wounds against Titanic unit and also it has the Shadow Sword Targeters that add plus one to hit for any Titanic model. So it's a very, very good at shooting knights and other big, uh, big things. So for 470 points, you are getting a unit that is more than worth its point. It has an amazing anti-tank shooting capacity, uh, even if its other offensive element are not that good, uh, because its defensive cost is almost average, and it has uh, good mobility, which is standard for the... Um, the Astra Militarum um, Lords of War. Overall, its offensive output is a bit better than its defensive cost. That's why this unit is considered to be worth 134% its value. So the next unit is the Storm Lord. For 470 points, you are getting a model armed with a Vulcan Mega Bolter, two Heavy Stubber, a Twin Heavy Bolter, and the Adamantium Tracks. 
the unit is able to transport 40 infantry models and uh, it has extended firing de deck so 20 uh, models can be uh, positioned to shoot on the storm lord and uh, its mobility and uh, melee uh, capacity are the same as uh, other uh, heavy tanks so overall the storm lord turned out to be worth its point uh, reaching a value of 105% uh, its worth so the unit has a defensive cost that is very close to the average it has okay shooting almost no uh, melee uh, capacity but its uh, mobility uh, element is excellent thanks to its ability to uh, transport 40 models and 20 of them being able to shoot so that turns out to be a unit that will be able to protect some uh, good shooters. So overall, the Stormlord is a unit that is worth its point. So overall, the units uh, performed uh, well uh, within our matrix, even if there are some uh, distinct element. Uh, when it comes to uh, having a dedicated shooter, uh, the best choice would probably be, again, the Shadow Sword. Uh, the ability to uh, do uh, more damage on Titanic vehicle was not considered in the metric, so maybe it's worth a bit more than that. Also, if you're looking more for uh, heavy transport, then the Doom Hammer is probably the best choice, as it will have almost uh, per point do uh, the same damage as a dedicated uh, shooter so uh, it's a very very good choice per point uh, there is no bad choice in uh, the lords of war uh, possibility for astra militarum but i think the shadow sword and the doom armor are the best uh, possibilities so if we put the analysis a bit further the doom hammer with uh, the Katashan Regiment and the help of the Sergeant Archer, which allowed to reroll ones on a hit, brings the unit to 169% its value. And if we add the Crush Them Stratagem that allow them to hit on 2 plus when they go in melee, well, the unit is almost to a 200% uh, uh, value to be considered competitive. Therefore, it can be considered almost uh, as a competitive uh, unit. The Shadow Sword, on the other end, I think it would go better with uh, the Cadian and the overlapping field of fire. So uh, by uh, not moving and the uh, having another unit shooting, it allows to increase its... Uh, it's a ballistic skill by one and the KDA allowed to reroll. So it brings the unit overall to a value of 203%, therefore turning the Shadow Sword into a competitive unit. To be considered also is that uh, some psychic powers can be uh, considered. Psychic Barrier and Night Shroud can be uh, used to increase the uh, defensive uh, capacity of those units. Also uh, the Ace Tank with uh, the hold down deployment would probably be very uh, interesting for a uh, shadow sword if it's well uh, uh, located and if there's not a lot of um, obstacles in the field of view of the shadow sword. So this video described the Lords of War choice for the Astra Militarum and it was using our normalized methodology Please feel free to comment on how to increase the efficiency of those units. And uh, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. I will upload all the 40k units using exactly the same uh, method. Thank you for watching. Over and out.